good as it gets in National League speed race. Right, let's get some of these uh, awards dished out and uh, if I can ask Barry and Martin to step forward, we're going to uh, recognise first of all our mascots and our mini warriors and uh, if these young people are in the room, we're going to ask them to come forward and as you know, they're very, very good at waving at you. If you wave at them, they'll wave at you. So come to the front please, if you're here, Annie May Murdoch. <laughs> Give Annie a wave anyway, I'm sure she'll welcome it. Lovely to you. What about uh, little Oliver, Oliver Scully Sire? Come on, Ollie, come and get your award for 2019. Give us a wave, Ollie, give us a wave. You're good at that? Uh -oh. What about Jack? Come on, Jack. Jack Scully Sire, everybody. One of our improving young men. Great to see Jack on the track. Give a big wave. Oh, a little bit. Ooh. Well, what about our two Charlies? Let's start off with Charlie Luckman. Where's Charlie Luckman? Come on, Charlie, come and get your medal. Give us a wave, Charlie. Have you grown that tooth yet? No, still. Have a look at April, see if he's made any progress on that. And of course, we can't leave one Charlie out without the other. Here comes Charlie Green. <laughs> Well done, Charlie. Now, is Logan here? Is Logan Harrit with us tonight? No? If not, we've got a special medal for Logan and we'll make sure that that gets passed on to him. So let's have a look and see who's next on the list. It's Cameron Bell. Come on, Cameron, come and get your medal. This guy, ladies and gentlemen, is a real improver. You'll have seen him over the course of the year. He's getting better and better, quicker and quicker, and certainly a young man to keep eye on for the future. And uh, last but by no means least, what about the Pink Panther himself, Kai Elliott? Come on, Kai, come and get your award. Brilliant. Give a wave, Kai, give a wave. And now to some of our more senior riders who come out before meetings to entertain you every week. And uh, I don't think Dan Lee's here with us tonight, but we've got a medal for Dan. Uh, but we'll move on, and uh, where's Aiden? Aiden Hitchcliffe, we've got uh, a little award for Aiden. <laughs> and Mouse, where's Mouse? Mouse is about, yeah, come and get your uh, medallion for 2019, Mouse. A beautiful fairy princess. That's not Paul Morgan. No, it's not Paul Morgan. And Steph, is Steph with Rock Hill? Oh, yeah, it's Fush Wayne. Yes, come on, Steph, come on up and uh, get in the room. Steph's got plenty. We've just decided to see you with your eyes for five problems, but we certainly recognise what you do and get that hooked into the uh, parade of riders before the meeting. And uh, we're going to kick off with the Wizards because we've got a little trophy memento for all of the riders on the Wizards team. And uh, we should start, of course, with the, uh, the skipper of the side, the man who's recently married. Please give a big welcome to Ben Hillsley. <laughs> and Ben's award is going to be presented by Graham Hewitt. Congratulations to Ben and uh, Amy. Great, great. Good. Ben, yeah, see that, thanks, Ben. Okay, and uh, 
one of our more senior statesmen in the Wizards lineup, but uh, a key co contributor in many, many ways. Jane Harvey's going to present the trophy to James Luckman. Spanners, James Luckman, congratulations and thanks for all of your input to the Wizards this time around. <laughs> we can't miss out our most local of the Wizards, can we? And where's uh, Vicky? Vicky's here somewhere and she's going to present the award to Morgan Williams. Well done, Morgan. Congratulations. Thank you, Vicky. And I know I took the Vic out of him a few minutes ago, but uh, the Wizards wouldn't be the Wizards, of course, without Jamie Seeley. <laughs> uh, Jamie's trophy is going to be presented to him by his Love Island compatriot, Anna Verne. Steady lads, because we're not past the ball to shed just yet. Okay, and uh, at the start of the year, we uh, introduced to you a young man from Blanford who was making his uh, first foray into the speedway in league form, and he's done a great job for the Warriors and also for the Wizards. We've got a trophy for Chad Wurzel. <laughs> consistently good for the Wizards in his outings here at Sportbrook and around the tracks up and down the country and it's uh, great to see him and the family here tonight. Will you please give a big welcome to Chris Watts. Presented on behalf of Chesil Radio, and perhaps Lisa would do the honours and pass that on to Chris. So, well done, Chris. Congratulations, and that should leave one more to do. Ask Charlie, assistant, if there's one more there. Yes, there is. Good. The numbers work. The man who holds it all together, the worldly advice in the ear hole, belongs to Kev Shepherd. Now, you've had the pleasure of working with all these guys over the course of 2019, and uh, you must be chuffed to bits with finishing third in that development league. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's, as we said at the start, it's about progression, to be honest, and to see the improvement amongst them all from over the 12 months since we first entered the league was actually incredible. Um, you know, yet again, we're one of the few teams that's used our own riders, pub and when Signo Seeley went uh, down on one meeting and we had to use one of uh, Eli Meadows at Birmingham, you know, we'd use our own assets. I'm very, very proud of that. So wherever the meeting's been, they've all turned out and given their maximum. And other promoters up and down the country have always put praise on the Wizards, the organisation and the dedication and commitment that the boys have put on track. Yeah, totally. You know, it's, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know if people know, but they don't get anything in this league whatsoever uh, from tours at any cost or anything. So. You know, it's, it's not easy turning out on a Saturday night all the way to Stoke, not knowing whether or not they're actually going to get a ride at the end of the meeting or not. You know, so it, it relies a lot of dedication on their behalf, and I'd like to thank each and every one of them, and their parents and everybody else who supported them, because without the backroom staff, they, they wouldn't be able to do it. So thank you very much. Wise words and thanks to our Kev. Thank you very much to you, Kev, and to all the Wizards and their support groups up and down the country. I actually have my one at home. Um, but not quite in the same uh, frame that Martin did for someone tonight. 
who had his first competitive National League meeting. Uh, and I'd like to bring him up, that's Morgan Williams. We haven't disclosed it too much, this was actually his payslip. So I'll let him keep that if he wants to put it up later. I have mine, I've still got my first one and it's a really nice thing to keep. Well done mate, congratulations. So uh, having recognised our Wizards of 2019, let us recognise our Warriors of 2019. Uh, why not stop, start, why not start, 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 start. Let's start at the top of the order with the man who has the uh, honour of captaining the Isle of Wight Club. And I'm sure you'll want to put your hands together and welcome Ben Morley. presentation uh, has been uh, done by Ronnie Pickler. You know, Ronnie, Ronnie's not here, of course, tonight, but uh, Lisa will do the honours. And whilst we've got uh, Ben in situ, um, there's a bottle of whatnot just at the side there. Most of you would know that Ben and Sam were engaged last weekend in Venice. <laughs> Sam, would you just like to stand up with that? Okay, our next uh, warrior award goes to uh, also comes from Ronnie Piccolo in actual fact. To uh, Ronnie is a, a regular Speedway supporter in the South East of England. Uh, unfortunately, can't be with us tonight, but uh, Ronnie knows these boys inside out. And another guy that he knows and is going to uh, make a presentation to, or at least it will do on his behalf, is Dan O'Hurst. <laughs> Well done, Dano. I'll catch up with you later on. You took time to prepare us for <laughs> Our third warrior this evening getting an award. It comes from our own Charlie Green, and Charlie's going to present the trophy to Chad Woodswell. <laughs> Next on this list is uh, a young man who joined the Warriors at the start of the season. Uh, relatively unknown in speedway terms, but uh, you've taken him to your hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, come up to the stage please, Connor King! <laughs> not here tonight, so the uh, presentation will be made on behalf of Hedgehog Racing, but we'll keep Georgie's trophy by and make sure that he gets it in due course. Next on the list is uh, Chris Whitman, but I think Chris yeah. is on. He's here. He's yeah. yeah. by the still his teeth. Please take the over out of your new shirt. This is Chris Whitman. And Chris is going to have the trophy from Jane Harvey. <laughs> Okay, next on our list of awards is the man who comes from uh, the far flung reaches of East Anglia every week to entertain the spirit at the Smallbrook Stadium. He was a joiner mid season for the Gladiators, but a great addition to the Warriors squad. Welcome up, Scott Capon! Right, 
Before you sit down there, yeah, you haven't got off the hook this time, have you? So, uh, a funny old year, really, wasn't it? Because it started off down at Plymouth and things didn't quite go to plan down there, but the gap came here at the island and you stepped in and I uh, guess you enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I never really wanted to leave and, um, you know, when the, like I say, I didn't go well at Plymouth, um, just one of those things, but the opportunity came at the Isle of Wight and I couldn't take it down. And uh, I've got to ask, how's your family? Very well, yeah. Emily's here tonight, so she's starting to grow up, so she's, yeah. It's good. Great to have the whole group. One last question. I always think that Scott is a bit of a thinker, you know, the professor, the man who has everything at his fingertips when you ask him about Speedway. What's your uh, view of Speedway going forward in 2020? I <laughs> said <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so, thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's doing a big shake-up. So anyway, it's going to sort of continue to thrive. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of work over the winter. So all involved, and um, I don't really know the answer. I wish I did. Um, it would solve a lot of issues. But um, yeah, it's going to be hard work, but we always seem to get something going, and hopefully it will sort itself out. I'm sure we all echo that, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a great asset of the Isle of Wight. Thanks very much to Scott Pillars. Thatcher, of course, but uh, as I say, Jackie is unwell at the moment, so again, we'll make sure that that one gets passed through to Jackie uh, with all your love and best wishes. And one final one uh, for uh, Kev Shepherd. Kev, come on up because uh, Kev does all the way tricks, as you know. You like to do well if you're So, go ahead, Kev. Congratulations. I'm not kissing him. <laughs> this is a little bit unusual because uh, when I uh, came in this evening, uh, a person gave me this envelope and um, asked me if I would read the letter that's inside. And uh, that is what I'll do. It says, Dear Rob, I would like to remain anonymous and would ask you to read out my letter on party night as I can't be at the stadium myself. I'm a regular supporter and love watching the Warriors and now the Wizards as well. This season I've been really pleased that there have been very few team changes and if my programmes are right I think we have four Warriors who have ridden in every single league, cup and trophy match both home and away. I think this is a remarkable achievement considering the risks that the riders take every time they go out on track and I'd like to recognise that consistency by making a small reward to those four riders. I'm also very aware of the devotion of the Wizards riders and although I don't think we've had an ever-present in the Southern Development League this year, I do believe that one rider rode in 11 out of the 12 matches. One slight disappointment for me and for others was that we didn't see too much of our Steph. I read that work and bike problems got in the way and kept her off the track for much of the season. However, I would also like to recognise her dedication to Speedway on the island. So Rob, will you please pass on the envelopes attached with my best wishes and congratulations to Steph, Chris Watts, Ben Morley, Connor King, Chris Widman, and Chad Wordsfeld. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's hope we continue to see the Warriors and Wizards in action again in 2020. So if uh, you guys would like to come to the front. I don't know what to do, I think, right? It could be something, it could be nothing. But uh, congratulations to all the boys who've uh, received that. And we'd like to say thank you, but we don't know quite who to say thank you to. 
Thank you. 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 That's quite a feat, isn't it, when you consider the amount of travelling that's involved, the time that you need to do the bike prep and uh, your own form and your own mindset. Yeah, I mean, um, the others turned up and, and did the job, but I didn't, but uh, no, I mean, that's the story. Yeah, I mean, um, early on in the season, um, I had the clutch go on the car, so that could have been uh, my meeting miss, but uh, we managed to run around and, and uh, get things together and, um, you know, to, to, like these guys here, you know, just to turn up every week and, you know, be, be ready for races is, is, is just 100% effort. And, and to do it for 20 meetings uh, right throughout the season uh, is quite a feat, really, because, uh, as that man said in his letter, you know, you guys take some pretty serious risks uh, every meeting just to entertain us, the, the fans on the terraces. And uh, for you to be there every week, every meeting, doing what you possibly can for the, for the best, and every rider goes out to do their best, uh, you know, that's a, that's a given. That uh, must be a fantastic feeling to work with this bunch of guys. Yeah, I mean, we, we just love racing. I mean, that's why we turn up every week, and obviously, through sport, and, and injuries can interrupt, and um, you know, you, you might not turn up one week due to whatever reason. Uh, but no, I mean, we, we wouldn't be here if we didn't like it. Well, I'm sure you want to put your hands together and do it for all these guys up here who've done their utmost for the Royals, for the Wizards, and the staff for 2019. Thanks, boys, and congratulations on that good award. Can I have a quick with Chris Watts? Chris, uh, I think that was 11 meetings out of 12, he said in that uh, letter. And uh, that pretty, that's a pretty uh, big achievement for guys who are racing basically for next to nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Um, the only one we missed, we was on holiday that week, otherwise it would have been all of them. So, um, yeah, I'd never intentionally miss a meeting. Um, but yeah, it's a shame we couldn't do them all, but 11 out of 12 is a good effort. And uh, your form over the course of the season seemed to build and build and build, and uh, your confidence probably at the same time was going up as well. And you must be uh, pleased with the outcome of 2019. Yeah, pleased with it this year. We steadily progressed as we went on. Um, still not quite where we need to be, unfortunately, but all we can do is just keep trying to push on and hope we're there next year. And a good bunch of boys to work with. Yeah, they're the best, yeah. Yeah, couldn't ask for more. Brilliant. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Watts. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you. Uh, Okay, so uh, let's go to the uh, individual awards now, starting with the Warriors' best turned out rider. He was the bonus point king last year. This time round, it's our own pocket rocket, Dano Verge. <laughs> best <laughs> and Dano's going to get his from Colin and Vanessa. So. Uh, Congratulations to Dano, best, cast, best bouncy castle bouncer of 2019. Dano, don't go away. Well, we didn't end the season quite right, did we? And it started off good and it started getting better and better and better and then all of a sudden uh, something went wrong. Yeah, um, the, the season was, yeah, fell off. Um, no, the season has been really good for me. Um, Consistent all the way through, um, up until the crash I had at Kent. Um, had a week and a half off, two weeks off, and then um, just came back too soon. And I wasn't quite right. And uh, we did get a meeting in at the end of the season there up at Scunthorpe in the uh, National League Riders Championship. But uh, as you say, you know, maybe came back just a little bit too quickly, and uh, in hindsight, would have been better perhaps just to sit it out and uh, go again next year. Yeah. Um, that's probably what would have been best, but when, when you're racing, you, you just want to get back and keep the momentum going. I know last year, in the winter, you did an awful lot of fitness training and uh, work to get yourself up to a good standard there, and uh, I guess that's on the menu for this year. Yeah, it will be. Uh, just sign up to the gym, so uh, 
going to be back at it. Um, but yeah, I'd just uh, like to thank a few people. Um, my amazing girlfriend Charlotte and the kids, uh, my mum and dad, um, and dad driving all over the country with me, and uh, all the sponsors and the people that helped me. Without that, I wouldn't be able to do it. Paul Sports and Dean from our day. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the uh, best turnout man of 2019, and we all hope to see Dano back on the island again next year. Ladies and gentlemen, Dano Hill! Okay, our next presentation is for the Upside Down Warrior of the Year. Basically, the rider who has had the most falls over the course of the season because um, I'm not sure if it's good to get a prize for falling off all the time, but uh, sometimes we like it, sometimes we don't. But this year's winner is our own rubber man indeed. He's bounced back better and better each time. Can only be Connor King. <laughs> Okay, our next award is for our bonus point king, and it will be presented by uh, Ewok. So, Ewok, come to the front if you would, please. A very close run thing this year between three riders and the rider who has won this won it by just one bonus point. He had 20 bonus points over the course of the season and that is the Blanford Bomber, Chad Wurzfeld. National League, good year, wasn't it? Really worked out well in the end. Yeah, started well, ended well, so that's all I could have asked for. Was she average up a few points? Yeah, I think I went up by just over two or just under two. And uh, what was the winter for you? Pretty practice, any training, going away on holiday, playing mum and dad back. Um, practicing, yeah, but not not the other stuff. <laughs> Got away, man and dad. And uh, what do you do during the course of the winter? Are you working or are you colleging or something like that? Um, I go to college now, doing a course there. Uh, I do pit bike racing, which I'm at tomorrow. At, no, I weighed actually tomorrow. And also speedway practices mainly. Do you think these uh, newfangled uh, upright engines will ever catch on, Chad? Um, Depends on the work. You don't know? Get Dad on the job? You don't know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we know he doesn't like speaking and I've put him through the mill already. So well done, Chad. Thanks very much indeed. Okay, we uh, move on now to our fastest warrior. And I can tell you that uh, our winner of this trophy clocked up a time of 70.8 seconds on three separate occasions last June. Jamie and Charlotte are the trophy sponsors and perhaps Chris Andy Hurst would like to step forward and make a presentation. Put your glass down Andy. I'm sure you want to shake the hand of the winner of this award. It is Ben Boyd. Good, he's alright with that. 
So I'm going to keep him here because he's got something else to do for me now. So uh, whilst um, it makes sense to keep Ben here, I'll ask Jane Harvey to come up as well because there's a further trophy to go to Ben, who is our highest point scorer in 2019. Ben, ben scored 266 points over the course of the season. He was in all those meetings, of 20 of them, and his best effort was a paid maximum, 17-1 at Kent, and 17 here against Milton Hall in the Brooksgate meeting. No, that, done, that, that hasn't gone. That, that was the last. Okay. Yeah, it was Anyway, um, two seasons completed on the Isle of Wight now, and uh, you really feel at home here, I guess. Yeah, I've uh, I've had a great two seasons here. Um, you know, everyone everyone involved in the club um, is is amazing. Like, uh, you know, everyone from uh, the smallest of jobs to the biggest of jobs. It's been a uh, it's really, it's been a pleasure to ride for the club, and uh, I've enjoyed every moment of it. And I said to Scott earlier on about 2020 and, and what comes up. I know hopefully there may be a chance that we get to Ben Morley back on the island again next year. But uh, you must be looking to uh, further afield and see if you can get back into championship racing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it, it's, uh, it's always a funny stage of the, uh, the year. So, um, considering with the AGM and all sorts going on. So we need to uh, wait till that's sorted and then see where we set at, at that stage and then get set for next year. I've got to say, this guy is an absolute star. He's an ambassador of this club and you won't go anywhere else and find someone who's as dedicated up front and really loves his sport just as much as Ben does. Ladies and gentlemen, he's our skipper and he's your favourite, Ben Royal. award goes to uh, a rider who is uh, just starting out on his speedway career and it's our most improved rider of the year and uh, Keith Wall from the Palm Court Hotel is the sponsor of this award. I don't think uh, Keith's here tonight, that's a shame. Anyway, uh, yes, this young man came into the, season, uh, into the team at the start of the 2019 season with a two-point average. And based on the final green sheet averages of 2019, he's increased his average from 2 to 3.81. It's a close run thing, but our most improved rider for 2019 is Chad Wurzfeld. to the Warriors Rider Rider. It's the award that the riders themselves have uh, voted for as they uh, look at their colleagues in the team and make a nomination as to who they think deserves an award. All the boys have put in their nominations and uh, it's again a very close run thing but I know you're going to raise the roof and greet Mr. Layback himself the winner of the trophy is Connor King. <laughs> Tina, Tina, would you like to come and give oh, Tina come and give Connor his trophy? No, shy, eh? <laughs> Retiring wallflower. What well I'm calling you, go mate, yes. Okay, so uh, let's turn to the awards voted for by you guys as we uh, head towards the supporters and riders of the year. And first of all, we're going to announce your wizard of 2019. The sponsorship comes from Chessel Radio. Unfortunately, as we know, Nicola isn't here tonight, so we're looking for 
a nice bar, and there's Tina that's going to do the job for us. Your Wizards Rider of 2019 coming forward to lift the trophy after all the votes were counted, and uh, I can tell you it was a close run thing. But the honour of Wizard of 2019 goes to Morgan Williams. <laughs> So first of all, thanks to all of you who voted in both the Wizard and the Warrior categories. This one was so close that uh, we had to have three recounts to determine your winner. The winner was almost unknown to us when he joined the club in January, but you have taken him to your hearts. His never say die attitude, his ability to absorb and apply information, as well as to interact positively with his teammates and new people on the terraces, makes him a truly worthy winner. A 380 mile round journey for home meetings is nothing to this 100 trier, and I'm sure you want to stand up and applaud your warrior of 2019, Connor King. Word started with an F. Well, first of all, congratulations, and I'm sure you'll have heard from the applause in the room that yours is a really, really popular vote, and uh, you must have come here tonight not even thinking about being the Rider of the Year. No, I didn't have a clue. Um, thank you for everyone that um, voted for me, and hopefully, I'll be back for 2020 and prove myself right, and all of you right as well. Amen to that. So it's, it's been a, a year of learning really, hasn't it, for you? Because a lot of the tracks have been brand new to you as you uh, go around them. And uh, what's been your mindset as you go to these meetings? You know, do you just think, uh, hell, I'm, I'm going to go do the best I can, or I need to find specific lines, or I need to talk to boys and get a set up? What do you think? Yeah, um, all the tracks I've been to have been new to me. Um, Ben and, well, Ben really, he's been the most help to me because he's right next to me, so he gives me the most help every day, so um, I'm not going to lie to you, um, there was a, a, um, a team that offered me a place 15 minutes down the road, so you all, oh, what's gone wrong? Um, you all, yeah, you all know who it is, and um, I picked to come three hours away, so... It kind of proves that Isla White um, puts the team effort in, everything, everything's Woo! quality here, so Woo! it is worth the three hour trip instead of 15 minutes, so yeah, thank you everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, you've done an outstanding job coming in at the reserve position, and then that was your top man. Ladies and gentlemen, for one time this evening, put your hands together and say well done to Connor King. Martin, I'll come to you first, and uh, what's your summary of uh, 2019 as far as Island Speedway is concerned? I think it's uh, been a really great year. Successful on track. I look back and think, because we had so many narrow defeats, and I'm thinking, what if, what if? Whereas if we'd have lost by 60, 30, or whatever the equivalent is, you, you just put it to one side. We were close, we were close on a number of occasions, but looking back, it was a fantastic year, our best year on track. The team was great, they all gelled together, and it's really been quite easy in that respect. But at the back of it, there's been a lot of problems that we've had to resolve that weren't speedway related when we get our AGM. 
common sense will show through. And despite the gloom of possibly only being four teams in the National League, which would, would not be viable, it looks like there could be more. There could be as many as there were this year. But who knows until you get to the AGM and you see who's sat around the table. I'm optimistic that a solution will be found which will benefit the National League and Speedway because we are the grassroots. We're feeding riders through from the MDL, SDL into the National League and up into the Championship and long may that continue. Even more controversy. I'd just like to say th well done to the Wizards. They, in my eyes, and I know in Barry's eyes, they were runners up in the, their league. They were cheated out of that position by a team that just wanted to get on track. I felt they were let down by the referee. The National League or MDL coordinator and the SCB. Yes. And I feel sorry for them because they deserve that runner up spot. I think yeah. all of those people involved. do Speedway any justice whatsoever. I'm not talking about the Wizards, I'm talking about the officials. They actually put Speedway in bad light there. And, but it doesn't take away the fact that our Wizards rode really well and they deserve that run-up slot. Um, Yeah, follow that, Barry. We, you can. I mean, if anybody can do it, you can, mate. Um, just wind the clock back uh, to 2016, and uh, you embarked on this mission to revise Speedway on the island. And uh, I guess at that stage you'd had a sort of five-year plan in mind about how things would go. Four of those years have elapsed. We're looking at hopefully year five. What's uh, the prospect from your perspective? Well, the prospect from my perspective is to uh, continue and to grow our sport here. Um, as Martin said, well, I've never heard him speak so much, by the way. <laughs> Where is he? What are you doing, stealing my glory or what? Um, yeah, so uh, I've never known Martin speak so much. He's very passionate about what we do, and um, as I am as well. Uh, the one thing I will say to you is, we lost money this year. And uh, we've not lost money since we started. And I said I wouldn't carry on if we lost money. I will carry on, but I don't want to lose money next year. This year we kind of rested on our This year we rested on our laurel. <laughs> it's working. This year we rested on... <laughs> God, I hate this This year we rested on our laurels too much. We didn't do as much char uh, the community stuff. I was probably lazy with sponsors. We got so much other stuff work-wise and things. And I don't want that next year. We will run next year, but I don't want to lose money. I'm not a millionaire, nor is Martin. We're not... We're normal people, and uh, in, order for, in, order, in order for it to work, I don't want—I don't want to be paid. I don't want to take anything, but I don't want to lose money. Hello, I don't want to lose money. So I urge you all to speak to people. Let's get this crowd um, bigger and better. Let's speak to our sponsors, um, uh, or bring sponsors to us, so that we can at least survive. That's the bad bit. The good bit is. We will run next year, and I want to put two teams into the MDL because we've got so many kids coming through the My First Skid School. I've spoken to Martin to it recently, and we will have two teams in the MDL if it runs because Speedway Schools is such a success, right? It's, we've got loads of kids coming through there. Aiden needs to be riding, Steph needs to be riding, now Mouse needs to be in a team now, so we can put two teams into that. Um, as for what happens at the AGM, I don't know what the answer to that is. Uh, Hopefully they will continue as we were. As Martin said, it's either four or maybe even ten teams. We have so many stories. Uh, we were supposed to have our AGM on Tuesday just gone. Who's that telephone? That's a fine. Uh, we were supposed to have our AGM on Tuesday just gone. They cancelled it. 
but many of you know that I work abroad all the time and I rejuggled my work to go to this AGM. I wrote them a pretty stern email to say that I need to know when we travel, oh, sorry, when we have the next AGM, because I need to plan my travel abroad. And uh, the answer was, we don't know. So who knows what the answer is? Um, but our plan is to run. Our plan is to make this even more successful next year. And our plan is to continue to develop speed riders, which is what we're good at. The powers that be need to recognize that fact, and hopefully they support us with a proper league, which will entertain you, because you're the people that enable us to do it and entertain our sponsors, and our sponsors want to be part of that, and uh, therefore we can break even. Uh, and by the way, when we have made money before, everything's been reinvested into, this, into the stadium, like the televisions and all the other stuff. We never took a penny out of the business whatsoever. So everything gets reinvested. So it's really, really important that we at least break even, and we can then all make some money and we reinvest it for the following years. So thank you so much for everyone for your support. Thank you to all of our volunteers who like Martin and myself. Of volunteers, thanks to my lovely Lisa, of course, as well. Be free to do all this stuff. Because let's continue with the good stuff that we do, eh? Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Yeah, just keep that applause going, ladies and gentlemen, because without these two gentlemen on my left hand side, there will be no two there.